Welcome to the Lockheed Martin Pilot Web. The Lockheed Martin Pilot Web offers several different advanced flight planning features. These tools are designed to make your flight planning quicker, more efficient, and most important, safer. Each of these fields requires specific and unique performance and equipment information for your aircraft. This information is stored in the account preferences for each of your aircraft. To access this area, simply select the My Aircraft link from the Advanced Services banner near the top right of the pilot dashboard. From here, you may either add a new aircraft or add or modify existing information to an existing saved aircraft. To add or modify information, select the Edit link from the top of that section. Select the desired aircraft and that aircraft's profile will generate. In this section, you may store a variety of aircraft information, such as basic aircraft information, position reporting devices, domestic and ICAO equipment code designators, and store airspeed data. This information will be used when filing flight plans that require this information, allowing for a one-time, easy entry of the data for future use. Help dialogues and explanations are available throughout to assist in ensuring the correct information is entered. Aircraft performance data is used in the calculations for various advanced flight planning tools, such as optimized winds aloft, departure time evaluations, and route planning, as well as calculating nav logs. To enter aircraft performance data, simply fill in all fields in the aircraft performance section of the aircraft profile. The Provide Hourly Burn Rates button allows for more accurate fuel consumption values. All boxes in the aircraft performance section are considered required information for these calculations. Once complete, simply select Save. To utilize these advanced flight planning tools, return to the Pilot Web flight planning page. Then simply fill out a flight plan form, either domestic or ICAO format. The three advanced flight planning tools are Plan a Route, located in the Route of Flight field, and labeled as Plan, Evaluate, located in the Departure Date and Time field, and Optimize, located in the Altitude field. Note, all stored aircraft and pilot data stored to your account has loaded to the flight plan form. In this example, we'll be using a high-altitude IFR flight from Nashua, New Hampshire to Lynchburg, Virginia. The Plan a Route tool, labeled as the Plan button, located in the Route of Flight field, will assist you in selecting routing most beneficial to your flight. From this window, you may select, search, and display the routing of any of the following route types. IFR routes recently assigned by ATC. This will display the last 15 routes assigned by ATC between your departure and destination, and the altitude used for that flight. Note, not all departure and destination pairs will have recently assigned IFR routing. Low Altitude VFR Airways. This selection gives you the system recommended route between your departure and destination pairs that uses Victor Airways. FAA Preferred will search the FAA database of preferred routes between your departure and destination. Again, not all departure and destination pairings will have FAA Preferred routes. Coded Departure Routes will display the stored and optimal coded departures between your departure and destination. These routes are used when normal ATC route structures must be changed due to weather, outages, or other system constraints. These routes are only available to select aircraft equipment types. The search dialog will display the equipment code requirement for that route. To see what that equipment code translates to, simply select the Equipment Code Definitions link at the top right. For a full explanation of FAA coded departure routes, simply select the See FAA Overview link provided. To display any of the routes above, select the desired route and click the Map button at the lower right. The route will be displayed in a separate pop-up window to assist you in planning your route. Once any of the selections has been made, select the route, highlighting it blue, and click the Select button, loading the route into the flight plan form. The Evaluate button located in the Departure Date and Time field will populate the Departure Advisor tool. The Departure Advisor tool is an easy-to-read graphic that will assist you in determining, based on your airspeed, terminal forecasts, and winds along a route, when the most favorable departure time may be. This tool displays summarized terminal forecast conditions along your route, as well as adverse conditions such as TFRs, convective SIGMETs, SIGMETs, AIRMETs, center weather advisories, and alert weather watches. Adverse conditions are displayed by gray hash marks and only include those conditions that are forecasted within 4,000 feet of your proposed altitude. 
and this example from Nashua to Lynchburg, the proposed departure time of 0500 local will be shown and highlighted. A 12-hour period will always be displayed. Depending on your proposed time of departure, times before and or after that proposed time will be displayed to present an accurate picture of all departure time possibilities for the route. Using this route as an example, you can see that at the requested departure time of 0500 local, Nashua was forecasted to have marginal VFR conditions at departure. It can be seen that choosing a later departure time, 0900 for example, would yield VFR conditions at departure and arrival with VFR en route as well. The gray hash lines within each time period show that adverse conditions are forecasted to be present along your route of flight. A weather briefing is required to determine those conditions as this tool does not serve as a substitute for a weather briefing. Once you have highlighted its departure time that meets your needs, select that time of departure from the window, highlighting its row blue, then click Select, and that time will populate in your proposed flight plan. Once the desired route and departure time are selected, the Optimize button in the Altitude field will suggest a more favorable altitude to consider. This tool factors in your aircraft performance data and forecasts a winds aloft for the flight to give you the most economical altitude for your route. For this example, we have a proposed altitude of flight level 240. Clicking the Optimize button will calculate the differences in time and route and fuel burn for altitudes 2,000 and 4,000 feet above and below your proposed altitude. The Altitude Optimization window will show your proposed altitude in the center of the table and four other altitudes to consider based on winds aloft and its effect on your proposed time and route and the associated fuel burn due to those winds. As you can see here, for this route, flight level 200 allows for a lower estimated time and route and overall fuel burn when compared to other nearby altitudes. To change your proposed altitude and file a more economical or faster altitude based on the optimization, simply select that row, highlighting it blue, and click the Select button. This will then populate the new altitude into your proposed flight plan. Once all the advanced flight planning tools have been utilized, you may complete the remaining portions of your flight plan and select the File button to transmit your flight plan to the appropriate ATC facility for IFR flights or to the Departure Station Flight Service facility for VFR activation. This concludes an explanation of the advanced flight planning tools available. More assistance can be found through the Pilot Web User Guide located under Help in the menu bar. Thank you for using the Lockheed Martin Pilot Web.